Hello, everyone. Today we have two points about Mid Autumn Festival. Both of them are by Du Fu. One is Yue Ye Yi She Di, and the other is Yue Ye,、uh, which means in the full moon's night. I'm thinking of my brothers. The other is very simple. Yue Ye means the in the full moon's night.、Uh, so. Whenever you saw the full moon's night or full moon, especially the article or the poem expressed the feeling of、uh, family reunion, thinking of his uh, brothers, uh, families, relatives, good friends, whatever, thinking about someone,、uh, or thinking even thinking about the their hometown. It. Always refers to the Mid Autumn Festival, which is October fifteenth in lunar calendar. So, what's more, for these two points, I have pinpoint the exactly year of this poem. It's written. The first poem, Yue Ye Yi She Di, was written in the year seven hundred. Fifty-seven, September second. The second poem, Yue Ye, was written in the year seven hundred fifty-six, in September thirteen.、Uh, so it's one year's difference. This year, the Mid Autumn Festival was in October first, Gregorian calendar. So in the lunar calendar, it was always October fifteenth, the full moon's day. Okay, let's get to the poem, and also I will tell you how I find out the exactly the year and date for these two poems. The title of the first poem, Yue Ye Yi She Di, means thinking of, recall my brother in the. Full moon day. The full moon day I've explained, basically equivalent to the Mid Autumn Festival. Okay, let's go to the first paragraph. 树鼓断人行，边秋一雁声。露从今夜白，月是故乡明。The drum of the war. Broke the traffic. 人行 means the traffic, and in the frontier area, the autumn, I heard the swine, the the goose, the sound of goose, which means the in the autumn's time, the goose is a very popular uh scenic for Chinese, or it's a symbolic uh view for the autumn and the. Goose flies to the south in the autumn time, and also it has a little bit relationship with the hometown. The basically people think the goose has two、uh, hometown, one in the south, one in the north. So in the autumn time, it's the time to fly to the south to their hometown. So this is all related with the Mid Autumn Festival. So basically, in the Mid Autumn Festival, either you reunion with your family, with your friends, and celebrate the festival together, or either you are separated from your family, from your friends, and you look to the moon and thinking about your family, about your friends. So,、uh, it all. Basically, all the things in this poem is about family family re- reunion, thinking of family members and friends. Okay, the next sentence: 露从今夜白，月是故乡明 This sentence is a key, ah,、uh, sentence for me to pinpoint the date of the, ah,、uh, poet right wrote this poem. 露从今夜白 Actually, it breaks a word into two part. Bai Lu is one of the twenty-four solar terms,、uh, which means 
the duel became white. So it's something quite near the autumn, mid autumn. It's one of the solar terms. The the autumn. Mid Autumn Festival is lunar calendar, so that calendar was based on the movement of the moon, and、uh, the solar term is based on the、uh, sun's move. So it divided the one year into twenty four period or twenty four、uh, breaks. So each date, twenty four days, has a term. It tells you the weather will be changed. And you can watch some of the very popular phenomena in nature, and then you know the this solar term is around. So for the solar term, Bai Lu, it means the dew became white. So in the autumn season, when you see the dew and it looks like white, you know this solar term is around. Another example,、uh, like Jing Zhe, so which means. Uh, in the springtime, first thing first, there is a thunder. So you hear the thunder. So which were probably it tell you it's around. This solar term Jing Zhe, the solar term is around. Zhe means the insects,、uh, the worms, and the earth in the winter. When when they hear the sounds, they what they are awake and they.、Uh, Came out, come up above the earth. So in the spring time, when you first time you see the insects, the worms on the above the earth. In the winter time, you never see them. You see, so when you first time you see them, very likely it's around the solar term Jingzhe. So this is another way for the ancient Chinese to. Uh, to know the weather, to know roughly what date, what time it is,、uh, because this is all. All those things are so critical for Asian Chinese、uh, as a country. Seventy、uh, percent, maybe ninety percent of people are farmers. The agriculture is so、uh, important, critical for everybody, and the weather. The weather changes is so critical to agriculture. Knowing the weather changes precisely is the key for agriculture to plant in time, to harvest in time. It finally becomes very fundamental and critical for their lives. So from the surface, this sentence means from tonight the dew becomes white color, and、uh, the moon tonight is so bright or brighter in my hometown.、Uh, so basically,、uh, this poem actually tells us two things: the time is changing from the、uh, solar term from the festival. And also, he, Du Fu, the poet expressed he was thinking of his home. So this double confirmed this full moon day is the Mid Autumn Festival. So with these two、uh, timing, I searched the ancient calendar. Well, apparently I I have searched three. Uh, online, they basically they show a little bit different, and、uh, finally this one most likely is the most precise one. So the interesting part is, it's not Mid Autumn Festival, just one day ahead of the Mid Autumn Festival. You can see in the calendar. So、uh, the September second is the solar term. Bai Lu, the white dew, and September third is the Mid Autumn Festival, or in lunar calendar,、uh, October fifteenth. And、uh, when we refer to the life story of Du Fu, this also、uh, is very reasonable. No other years、uh, 
could compliant to the situation uh, described in this poem. So let's review the first paragraph again. 树鼓断人行，树鼓 the drum for the war,、uh, and also the other term, 边丘 the front, the autumn in the frontier area. So when we refer the life story of Du Fu, he had never been to any frontier areas. The war he ever experienced is the civil war, or so-called Anshi Zhiluan, in、uh, Chinese history, which lasts roughly ten for ten years. So I searched the ten years calendar and then pinpoint. This date, and also that year complies to the experience of the、uh, Du Fu's life story. He just had a new appointment in the place very near to the rebellion's troop. The rebellion's troop stationed in the east capital Luoyang, and、uh, this place the、uh, I circled in the. Diagram is the castle that facing the、uh, rebellion troops, and、uh, Du Fu actually is was serving a position、uh, near this place, so he can hear the、uh, drum of war. So it's all real、uh, stories, not something、uh, by im- imagination. Shu Gu, he can hear the drum of the wars. And this is、uh, the frontier. In the through the Tang history,、uh, other times this very critical central place could never be called as a frontier、uh, place. But when the rebellion、uh, during the war, this ten years war、uh, by the rebellions, this is、uh, is the real frontiers. And this is a, such a dramatic change. So, Du Fu geniusly expressed his surprise and、uh, sadness. Let me take an example. So, the Napoleon he invaded Russia, and his troops was confronting at、uh, the skirt of Moscow. So, if I'm a Russian, I'm Staying in the city in the Moscow that time, I would share the very very same feeling. This place used to be the suburb of the capital, and now it's the war field. What a change and what a sadness. Okay, the next paragraph. 有地皆分散，无家问死生。So I have brothers, but we all scattered. Now we don't have home. The only question for us is life and death, because it's in the war time. Nobody know what happened in the next day. Okay, the next sentence. 寄书常不达，况乃未休兵 I write letters to my brothers, but it takes such a long time and I think it didn't reach to them. And、uh, by the way, the war never stopped. So the, this poem looks quite simple from the wording, and uh, 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 prime school students can read this poem with no, not even a single problem. But when we try to feel the feelings of Du Fu, first thing first is he write. Precisely, the situation he was, he was at the frontier. It's the Mid Autumn Festival, and he also geniusly created the sentence. 路从今夜白，月是故乡明 So this is basically telling. If we, I write a normal sentence, it's just like today the white doe、uh, came and. In my hometown, the moon is bright, but he reversed and breaked the、uh, words. 
Lu and Bai. He break the words Lu and Bai, and he reverse the sequence. Lu from Jin Ye Bai. So it gives you a strong sense of time changing. Something changed fundamentally. When we look the two sentences together, you will find the tricky of the tongue point, the time and space. So he's. Hometown far far away from him is sort of the space he tried to focus, and also tonight, and also the solar term white do is the timing. So space and timing is always a very very basic elements in the、uh, Tang poetry, and they try all their Trick tricks to write the time changing and the space, the vast space we are living in. The second paragraph basically writes something about the subject today or next day is the mid、uh, autumn festival, and now we are mi- li- lived in a very very miserable life. We don't know who is alive, who is. That and、uh, we have no idea when the war would be over. So it's reflected. It's a very very sad situation, a very very negative situation, but not so much. He still have the question when the war would be ended. In war time, as far as you can ask these sort of questions, where is my brothers, and when the war would be ended, which means you still have some hope, and、uh, you are still a little bit positive for the future time. So in reality, this is the third year, or not. Uh, less than third year of wars. Finally, this war turned out to be a ten years of war. So, if you read the、uh, points, two or three years after this point, Du Fu has a totally different、uh, feelings and emotions. He never asked about the question of war. Never asked about when the war would be ended, which means he's hopeless. The second poem, Yue Yi, the full moon's night. So this poem was written one year ahead of the first poem, in the year seven hundred fifty-six. September thirteenth. Okay, the first paragraph. 今夜福州月，闺中只独看。In the boudoir tonight, you look to the moon, lonely, in the place of Fuzhou County. So from the Fuzhou County, we can pinpoint that the year. Is seven hundred fifty-five to seven hundred fifty-six. During these years, the Du Fu、uh, relocated his wife and his kid to the Fuzhou County. So we can pinpoint、uh, the date Du Fu wrote, wrote this poem in these two years by the first line. And the、uh, Guizhong, the Boudoir. The room the women lived in、uh, is a very very popular word in the ancient uh, uh, poem and articles. And here it means、uh, refers to his wife. And the Zhi Du Kan, she watched the moon lonely. Means Du Fu was not、uh, with his wife.、Uh, that's why his she's、uh, his wife. Was looking to the moon lonely and thinking of 
祝福 ，thinking of her husband. Okay, the next sentence. 摇铃小儿女，慰藉忆长安。My little kids, I feel such a sympathy, and I feel such sad remotely from a remote location. 摇铃 ，I feel sympathy, feel sad remotely. So this double confirms Du Fu was not with his wife. He was not in the Fuzhou County. 未解忆长安 So I feel so sad. My little kids still don't know, uh, to recall to think of Chang'an City. So here it has a lot of things. First thing first is the Mid Autumn Festival. So、uh, normally people would think about their family members, especially their parents. But the kids of Du Fu were still so young, and they don't know much, and they don't know in this special day to think of his their father Du Fu. And Chang'an actually is the.、Uh, Alternative take name or metaphor to Du Fu,、uh, as well as the life in Chang'an, because before、uh, Du Fu's wife and the kids loc- relocated to this Fuzhou County, they lived a life for ten years in Chang'an City, the great capital city. So.、Uh, This sentence actually has two sympathies toward his little kids. First thing first, his little kids don't know the feelings toward his dear parents, to his dear father who was still in Chang'an City, and the second is his kids still does、uh, know the a good life or poor life. Of course. The luxury life, the prosperous life in Great Chang'an City, is far, far from the life in the small county,、uh, roughly two hundred kilometers north to Chang'an City. It's quite different: a country life and a, a metropolitan life. In reality, Du Fu was just captured. By the rebellion troops, who just occupied the great capital city, Chang'an City, and、uh, luckily, because Zhu,、uh, Du Fu was、uh, such a little junior positions, he was released. But anyhow, he was trapped in this chaos, and he was thinking of his home, two hundred kilometers north. Okay, the next paragraph. 香雾云鬓湿，清辉玉臂寒。香雾云鬓，玉臂 is all the terms referring to women. So very clearly, this pair of sentences is talking about something about his wife, and it's all the imaginations because they are not together. Uh, her sick and. Uh, hair like cloud became white with fragrant uh smoke. Xiang Wu, the fragrant smoke. Yun Bin, the very beautiful and nice hair, became white. Qing Hui Yu Bi Han, the moonlight shadows on her arm, and make it feel colder. Qing Hui, the very、uh, clear crystal moonlight. Yu Bi,、uh, the arm of jade. So this, this is a very、uh, traditional term to describe the、uh, arm of a woman. A very white and very、uh, nice looking arm.、Uh, Han. So it's the mid autumn. So it's very cold already in this area. The next sentence: 
。何时已虚晃，双照泪痕干。So what time, uh, could we, uh, together lie upon the curtain by the window, and、uh, the moonlight shines on both of us and dry out our teardrops? Uh, so this is a little bit complicated and too,、uh, th- too much things. But basically, it tells it's the imagination again in the future. So the second paragraph is all imaginations by Du Fu. The first pair of sentences is the imaginations of the time when Du Fu write this poem. He's thinking about his wife. The present time. Both of them, they are looking to the moon and thinking to each other. And his wife、uh, is still so beautiful, but alone. The second pair of sentences is the imagination by Du Fu for the future. Which year could we reunite again, and we can celebrate this mid-autumn festival together? And Let the happy reunion to dry out our tear drops for the all those days. Okay, that's the second poem. So if we compare the two poem, which basically is just one years apart, the second poem was written in the second year of the. Civil War, and the, the first poem was written in the third year of the Civil War. From the details of their personal life, the second poem has much more, and he has a lot of his imaginations: the beautiful hair of her wife, the nice-looking arm of her wife, and he even think that his wife would be feel very cold. In this state, and he also talk about his little kids. They still are so young; they don't they know nothing. And in the first paragraph, there's now no details of their families or his brothers. Basically, the second、uh, the first poem is about her, his brothers.、Uh, the second difference is the wishes he expressed or the question to the future. So the second poem actually is expecting the reunion of his family with his wife, while the first poem actually has a strong doubt when this war would be ended. It's three years of war already, and actually he don't have too much of a hope. The only hope is if my brother is still alive. He don't care they lead a good life or bad life. As far as my brother still alive, that would be the most,、uh, the best news for poet, for Du Fu. So you can see the first poem actually is with much negative. Feelings, or in other way,、uh, with very few hope or hopeless. In the second poem, Du Fu still has a strong wish, a hope for the future. The poet even imagined they can dry out the tear drop for both, and which means a full recover from the. Disaster from this war. Well, in the first poem, Du Fu expressed his bottom line rather than a wish, a hope. Is my brother still alive? That's all I asked. So very likely, Du Fu already realized that. They could never recover from the disaster, the miserable of the war, and、uh, the 
best cases for them, for his brothers, for his families, is to survive this war. So this is just by one year's difference, Du Fu has such a fundamental change of his feeling of his uh, projection to the futures, and we can see one or two years later. Du Fu has another fundamental change. He turned his focus to the average people, rather his own personal life, his own family members, his own feelings. So that finally became the Du Fu. Normally, we know a person takes his great. Care to the public interest, to the average people, and condemn those who launched the war, who supported this war. The third difference is the writing styles. The second poem is quite like a poem by a scholar with so many sophisticated wordings. Uh, with so many written words, and、uh, the first poem, which actually is was written one year after, is with the words just like oral words. But he has some of his creativity to mix match and manage this very normal and common character, common words. With all the very normal and、uh, popular words, he created the sentence unique and lasting. 路从今夜白，月是故乡明 So that's writing about. Okay, that's for today, and I wish you had a happy family reunion, and you had a. Happy Mid Autumn Festival every year. Bye bye for today.